everyone! Once again, I'm bringing an MMD tutorial, but this one's gonna be extra special, because today I'm gonna show you how to make your own Raycast Skybox. You don't know what skyboxes are. For Raycast, you have the ability to add certain shadings to your models, creating beautiful sceneries, sort of like this. I haven't added any effects to this yet, this only thing I've added is Ray. Now today, I'm going to show you how to do that. So first up, you're going to come into the Tools fo folder. You're also going to want an HDR file, which where I found mine is here. I learned how to do it from this tutorial, so if you don't want to listen to me doing it, look up Array MMD creating your own custom skybox, and that should help you out. Um, for this, I think I'm going to choose that one, one of these. Now it's going to take a while to download first, but after you get that, you're going to extract this folder right here. Extract it and you're going to come into this leave this folder open and once you have your ADR fi 8 file you're going to hold on I'll be back so give me a minute I'll be back once my file has downloaded I am back and our file has downloaded you're going to take the file put it in here extract it And then you're going to grab your ADR file and then bring it into this folder. Next, you're going to take your file and drag it into one of these. I'm doing a medium because I don't want it to be very detailed. After you do that, this window will pop up. Let it run. Do not interrupt it. Because it is what's doing the process to get this done. After it is done running. Oh, this is going quick. Holy crap. This is normal, I promise. <laughs> so we'll just sit here and wait until this is done. Because if I pause it, I'm pretty sure you're going to miss file close. Once this is done, the window will close. Do not worry. That is out. That is okay. That is part of it. Once it is done, you're going to take your files, cut, and paste them into the texture folder for the template. Then you're going to delete these because you don't need them and they're just going to take up space. You're going to then take your template folder, cut, I paste it into tools and then I delete my extracted folder. And then you're going to take your folder with everything you need and put it into your skybox folder. Rename it any skybox you want. Um, I'll just name mine daytime skybox. You're then going to open MMD and load in your skybox. And it should load. It'll have different commands for it. If you want to make sure that it works and it's not just a skybox, you're going to go ahead and load in a model of your choice. Uh, I'll just do Kasumi.
you're going to obviously you're going to check to make sure that it works which is just load in all the stuff you need to use Raycast. If you know how to activate a skybox you simply load it in come into this fo this tab right here click this go into the folder of the skybox and then click lighting and now you have a working skybox you have created your own skybox that works i don't png will not work with this if you want to create your own hdr and try it i'm sure that will work but that's how you make a skybox. I hope this was helpful, and I will talk to you all later, I guess. Goodbye.